this is tutorial 6 of cadence in this tutorial i'll be showing how to perform a parametric sweep so sometimes in our circuit it's important to perform sweeps of two variables simultaneously so in this tutorial i am taking the example of a common source amplifier where i am varying the vgs and vds to see the effect on drain current first of all i have to define the variables that is vgs and vds for that i launch adl and earlier i have saved that state so i'll run this open that state also and i will define the inputs again and keep the variables vgs and this is vds okay now here i will define i will give some values to them and six now first of all if i want to vary only one variable continuously the difference between that dc sweep or a single sweep uh, with parametric is that the parametric analysis it takes discrete values like we are getting some step size or uh, number of steps so accordingly it will take some values so for example i am taking some sweep variable here design variable vgs gate source voltage i am taking and vary it 0 to 1.8 okay and passing the current i have to choose this node if i'm choosing this net this is voltage so i'm choosing this i'll see drain current now let's run it Now this is the current voltage characteristics of a console amplifier where VGS is varying from 0 to 1.8 and VDS is at 1.8 VDS another variable this is one now what if I want to vary two variables so for that we need parametric analysis we we'll go here tools parametric analysis Add variable since VGS I have already defined in there so I'll take VDS here because for I vary it from 0 to 1.8 and here there are different types step modes like linear steps linear decade octave I keep it auto and I will give number of steps 6 so that 0 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.3 will be and I'll run it Uh, this is the current voltage correctness of common source amplifier. This is for VDS is called 0 and VGS is varying from 0 to 1.8. Similarly, this one is for VGS, VDS over 0 0.3, 0 0.6, sorry, 0 0.7 to this is 1.08. Similarly, 1.44 and 1.8. So, this is how we do parameter analysis. It is taking discrete values of VDS. I can vary temperature also if I want to add one more variable here I'll click here let's take temperature for this technology if you go for the model files if you see that in your foundry that folder you'll see that in the temperature range for that particular technology will be defined so for this one it is minus 55 to 125 so I kept it auto so it will take a uh, some steps on its on, it, on its own 
mostly it will take three to five steps the more you will get steps and the more you will get steps more it will take time so it's already taking 29 steps Thirty steps. That means get five steps. Six into five is equal thirty. So here the temperature is fine. For example, okay, let's zoom it. I zoom it here. Right click and drag over the portion. This is the trend current voltage characteristics at uh, VDS 1.8 and uh, temperature is 1.5. And similarly, if I want again that VDS. 1.8 and temperature is 80 degree. So this is the characteristic. So with temperature also the drain current is changing. This is how we do parametric analysis. I can add more variables here. Let's uh, add one more VGS and I vary it zero to 1.8 but instead here I will give 2 because it will take even more 2 2 so it will take overall 8 steps and in my DC sweep I just remove it Okay, I haven't varied anything here, so it won't show anything. So one variable I have to vary, uh, define here. Then I will take others here. Okay. This is the parametric analysis. In next tutorial, I'll be showing how to do the pole zero analysis.